focus, aperture, shutter and colour temperature. These are the principles of cinematography. To get professional footage from anything from a little handy cam through to a professional film camera. Focus, aperture, shutter and colour temperature will get you that look. Fast. And then you set the focus, either using your automatic. So, that's easy to remember. The tighter you are on the lens, the less depth of field you have. The areas that will also be in focus. Collectively, these areas are called the depth of field. You might not be able to get both of them in focus because your depth of field is not big enough. Another way to increase your depth of field would be to stop down. The iris in a camera lens alters the size of the aperture through which light falls onto the photographic film. This is called exposure. The range varies from lens to lens. Each change from a low f-stop to a higher f-stop is equivalent to halving the amount of light falling onto the film or CCD. So if you were to open up the lens by one stop, for instance, you would be doubling the amount of light you letting onto the film. If you leave your handy cam on automatic for a shot, every time there's a change in exposure or someone walks in front of you or a taxi drives in front of you and changes the exposure values of the shot, your camera will adjust and the lens will pump. It will suddenly adjust and go dark and light. It's called pumping the lens and this is very unprofessional. Many people want to know how to get that effect where the people in foreground of your shot are in focus, or sharp, and the people in the background are out of focus, soft, and accentuates the impact of the foreground. Without the ND, there you see that everything is a little sharper, and then with the ND, as it goes in, you suddenly see that things get softer. Use your imagination now. Imagine your eyes are the film, that your eyes are the focal plane, and the light is hitting your eyes and exposing the film. And the shutter is something that opens and closes at a certain speed over time. And as the shutter speed goes upwards, it lets in less light. And therefore you can see the aperture is opening. So there's a link between the shutter speed and the aperture. It would let more light into the lens and you'd need to close your iris. Opening and closing the iris affects your depth of field. So there's a correlation between focus, aperture and shutter that is linked completely in all different levels of camera. And what often happens with fast moving objects is that things become a blur. Now the way to avoid the blur is to allow less time for the shutter to be open, therefore allowing less time for each individual frame to be blurred. You've all seen people who look ultra blue and you've all seen people who look ultra orange. And unless you mean it for the mood and feeling of your scene, it can look like an amateur mistake. White balance is all about color temperature. And then you take the reading by pressing the button. And when you come back to your scene, everything looks normal. Right, now we're doing a brief recap on everything we've learned about focus, aperture, shutter and color temperature. The director's asked us to expose, focus, get the color balance right, 